Hi students, so welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the difference of two squares. We have here, for example, factor the following. For number 1, we have x squared minus 25y raised to 8 power. For the difference of two squares, okay, so it's just like this, okay? So what is the factors of x squared? So the factors of x squared is x times x, okay? Next is, so since this is um, minus, so what we're going to do is just to write plus and then here minus okay next is what is the square root of 25 okay think of a number if you multiply twice or by itself the answer is 25 so that is 5 okay because positive 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 now we have y here so just write y here and here Next, what you're going to do to the exponent, so just um, divide the exponent by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay? So, that is 4 here and then also 4 here. So, now this is our final answer. So, our final answer is x plus 5y to the 4th power times x minus 5y to the 4th power. Okay, for number 2, we have 25a raised to 6 power, b to the 4th power, minus 9c raised to 8 power. Okay, so let's put group sign here. So in our right hand side, so just write plus, and then in our left hand side, minus. Okay, next is what is the square root of 25? So that is 5. Or... Think of a number, if you multiply it by itself, the answer is 25. So, that is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Next, so we have A here. So, just write A. Okay. Next, what you're going to the exponent, just divide it by 2. So, 6. So, we since we have 6 here, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, just write 3 here. Okay. So, next we have B. Alright, so now, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so just write 2 here. Okay, next is find the square root of 9. So, the square root of 9 is 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, next, for our C, so again, our um, exponent here is 8, so divide it by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, we have C to the 4th power. Okay, so now just copy this here. So, we have... 5a cubed b squared and 3c to the 4th power. So, this is our final answer. 5a cubed b squared plus 3c to the 4th power times 5a cubed b squared minus 3c to the 4th power. For example, in number 3, we had 100m squared minus 9n raised to 8 power. So again, what you're going to do is just to write a symbol, grouping symbol, and then in our uh, left-hand side, we have plus, and then in our right-hand side, we have minus. Next, what is the square root of 100? So the square root of 100 is 10. Because 10 times 10 is 100. Next, we have M here. So just write M. So what we're going to do again in our um, in our exponents, just divide it by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, we don't need to write 1 here. So, our answer here is 10m. Plus, so what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. Now, we have n here. So, n raised to 8 power. So, since this is raised to 8 power, so divide 8 by 2. So, that is 4. So, our exponent here in our end is 4. Now, copy this here. Okay? So, the difference of this is in our left-hand side is positive and in our right-hand side is negative. So, let's just have 10m minus 3n raised to 4th power. So, that is our final answer. 
How about in number 4? So we have 9b squared minus 49. So again, we have the grouping symbol. In our left-hand side, we have the positive sign. And then in our right-hand side, we have the negative sign. Next, what is the square root of 9? So 9, uh, think of a number. If, you, if we multiply by itself, the answer is 9. So that is 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. Next, we have b here. So again, the exponent, divide it by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we don't need to write 1. So we just have b here. Next, 49. So what is the square root of 49? So the square root of 49 is 7. Because 7 times 7 is 49. Since we don't have a variable here, so this is the final answer in our left-hand side. So now just copy this in our right-hand side. So that is 3b minus 7. Okay, so now this is our final answer. So 3b plus 7 and then times 3b minus 7. So, in number 5, we have here 4 minus 64x squared. So, again, grouping symbol. Left-hand side is plus. Right-hand side minus. What is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4. Next here, so what is the square root of 64? So, the square root of 64 is 8. Because 8 times 8 is 64. Now, we have x here. So, write x. And then, to our exponent, what we're going to do is just to divide it by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, we, didn't, we don't need to write 1. So, we just have imaginary 1 here. So, that is now the final answer in our left-hand side. So, that is 2 plus 8x. Now, copy this to our right-hand side. So, it will become 2 minus 8x. So, this is now our final answer. Next, in number 6, we have 36a raised to 12 power minus 25b squared. So, what we're going to do again, just to write grouping symbol. Our left-hand side, we have positive. Right-hand side, negative. Next, what is the um, square root of 36? Because 6 times 6 is 36. So, we, uh, we have a here. So, just write a. Now, in our um, exponent, so just divide it by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Plus, okay, so what is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is 5. Okay, we have b here, so just write b. And then 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, we don't need to write 1 here. So, this is the final answer in our left-hand side. So, we have 6a to the 6th power plus b plus 5b. Okay, so just copy this. To our right-hand side, so it will become 6a raised to 6 power minus 5b. So, this is our final answer. So, that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!